So welcome to the roundtable where we talk about some particularly interesting news item in the anime world in the past week. And today's news item is about possible North Korean shenanigans in the anime industry, uh, which I don't know about you, just shocks me. Um, <laughs> Utterly shocked. So basically, there's this watchdog group called 38 North. They observe things having to do with North Korea and announce those and release those to the world. They found this server that had a North Korean IP address, I believe. Um, and so it was uh, also misconfigured. The, the, the uh, security was misconfigured, so, they, so anyone could actually log into it. Oh, and wow. so they logged into it and didn't do anything. They just observed. So and this is a, a very common thing in this kind of situation where instead of letting folks know what's going on, you just silently observe and then you can gather information. And they found, uh, among other things, files related to various animation projects. Some of them uh, American animation projects, one of them from Dahlia in Bloom, uh, an anime coming up this summer. Um, uh, and they ha they were uh, um, some of these were marked with the name of Ikachi Epic Epica, which is a, an animation studio in Hokkaido. Um, now, what makes this more interesting is the fact that there are editing comments and instructions in it, as you would expect from from this sort of work. Um, and it did have animation work kind of going in and coming out, so. Files were posted, and then updated files were posted. Um, the comments and instructions were given in Chinese, translated into Korean. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, suggesting a middleman somewhere. Uh, 38 <laughs> North observed that there was no indication that like any of the actual like production companies in America or Japan had any idea this was happening. This all seemed to be happening at this sort of sub subcontractor level of two companies kind of transferring files back and forth right. into uh, and out of North Korea. <clears throat> um, um, several steps downstream from the producers, as they put it. Um, both Dahlia and Bloom and Ikachi Elpica published uh, statements uh, a few days after the release saying, basically, we had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Like, this, is, this, this, this comes out <clears throat> of nowhere. Um, which sounds right. Um, and in fact, they said, like, this is... We did not give them permission to do this. Like this is this is completely um, new to us, um, and there's no like direct information on the files or any information to indicate uh, which which companies were actually doing this in the process. Right. Um, obviously, there are ways of doing uh, of finding that out, and the company said they are investigating to find out what's going on. Um, now, what makes this interesting, particularly for the American companies is that the U.S. has sanctions on North Korea. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, you, you are not supposed to do business with any North Korean state-owned enterprise. Now, again, there's no evidence of it. I don't believe that the companies were knowingly using a North Korean studio, you know, whatever. But, like, where does the liability fall? I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, <clears throat> you know, particularly with the... I, I, did not, I missed the Chinese element of it, the uh, Chinese instructions being translated yeah. into Korean. So there's definitely some um, IP, uh, you know, intellectual property theft going on here. Mm -hmm. um, but <clears throat> we expect that from China, honestly, and we're still dealing with that kind of thing. Yep. But with the with you know yeah exactly where does where does the hammer fall, and you know the companies that are that are that are having that are being like notified oh by the way this is happening <clears throat> they're going to have to report that to congress at some yeah. point or some or some agency yeah. probably state and commerce and <clears throat> they're going to have to go okay so here's the thing cuz this is pretty serious this is north korea yeah. for us for us that's that's pretty serious so i am willing to bet that the, um, I, I don't think there's any jail time or anything like that. No. I think it's just going to be like somebody's just going to be like, well, you're never working in this industry again. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna, what's going to happen, yeah. um, basically, and probably some, t some level of restitution. But to your point about it being on such a sub-level thing, I think this is literally where you know we were kind of talking to before we, we got on, online here, which is um, you know, it's probably some guy just saying, yes, I can do the contract. I can do X amount. 
here it is great door closes and they're just like all right guys all right let's fire up the server you know yeah. literally i think that's probably mm -hmm. what's gonna happen and so that's who they're gonna have to find and arguably the the right person to punish yeah. but it's kind of interesting that people are doing this because they're you know we know that north korea is always 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 because of who they are and what they're doing is always cash strapped so yeah. this is just another way of them to do this and it seems like such a little bit of money to cause such a fear over mm -hmm. keep in mind that north korea <laughs> It, it's literally they're eating dirt mm. over there. You know, I mean, it's not a good situation for any of them right now. So any amount of money, how hard to cash that goes through is, is, you know, prized. Absolutely. So, yeah. And we know that they are, that there are North Korean agents who are actively trying to make this sort of thing happen. You know, they're, they're mm -hmm. trying to make those connections to siphon work into North Korean right. companies. Um, oh, God, that's right. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah. Because they might get in trouble, whoever's doing this on their end, unless it's state sanctioned. Mm, if they're yeah. just doing it just to grab some cash, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. that that's death penalty stuff yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. totally. We'll give them a slap on the rest, but North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's one of those things where you know, there's likely going to be, you know, bad news out of this all around. But point being, you know, when you know, if you're a U.S. company doing things and you're a sub sub subcontractor. Somebody could come to you and say, yes, I will do this. I have folks in the Philippines to do this. And they could be lying. Right. And it's, you know, impossible for you to know unless you literally, like, fly to the Philippines and go to that address. <laughs> um, and <laughs> especially... Yeah, we were joking. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, say, and especially, you, know, you hear these stories all the time of these overseas, you know, contracts, and then somebody shows up and announced, and it's a... A laundry you know or something with right the, the address is just some <laughs> random you know, photocopy shop like, wait what mm, mm, you know mm. but i mean it, but at a certain point you have to be able to like you know, as a company it, as a at, and as big as anime is getting you are going to have to go to that point where you're just yeah. gonna have to i'm gonna have to take you at fa face value and if you're gonna lie to me anyway you're gonna lie to me on the contract you're gonna lie to yeah. me on on so many things so it's one of those things where it's just unless you're willing to like do it all yourself you know, if someone's saying, how come it's taking that anime so long? I've got to do everything. <laughs> you know, so, you know, you yeah. have to, you have to be able to, to, to farm it out somehow. And, and so, and that's where, you know, people take advantage of. of and if situation. you're curious, uh, Shirobako, the anime, is a great uh, look at all of this. Uh, it's an anime about making anime. And right. they go to all the different, you know, you, uh, the, the, the main character ends up going to a bunch of these different companies that are doing like, fully work and doing all this other stuff because you just, you got to farm it out. Like, you just can't do it all yourself. Yeah. Um, and the Japanese industry for a long time had this very strong network of, of other Japanese companies they'd work with. Uh, but over time, as uh, the industry has evolved, like, there's a lot of other folks out there who can do it for half as much and can do it just as well. Like, you know, it's not a quality thing. It's it's purely labor and- uh, Cost, yeah. Exactly. And so there's gonna be a, you know, with that diaspora of contracts into lots of different places, there's a lot more opportunity for this to happen. Um, I, I do wonder what effect this is going to have. So I wonder how many other anime companies are gonna go, we, we, we should make some phone calls. You know, yeah. um, it, it's probably time for us to do a, a little bit of an audit on, uh, on, on all of our, our country, a bit of a wake-up call to the industry to say, ooh, yeah, um, yeah. We, we may have been just uh, turning a blind eye, or not turning a blind eye, but not paying as close attention as we could be to some of this stuff. I, I would hate to be that auditor and do the magic moment where they just go, Okay, so, oh, God, this is like the third address I've looked at. And have the, oh, there they are. <laughs> hey, guys. And just watching, like, the, the senior executives going, oh, God. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Who was it? Exactly. Yep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Somebody had a cousin. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. I, you know, he, they, they totally got this. It's like, mm. Yeah. Uh, it's 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 the Asian equivalent of the the song I've got a cousin in Miami. <laughs> he knows everything about everything. 
Yeah, but they've been the lowest. It's great. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's cheap. Yeah, it, it is an interesting situation. And um, uh, it, it is also, though, a testament to how resilient the industry is that you can have a production made by companies that don't know anything about each other at all. Um, yeah. And they can pass the data back and forth. And the work gets done um, with all of these disparate companies just kind of doing their work. You know, think back a couple of decades ago, how hard it was over here to learn the first thing about how the anime was made. Um, yeah. You know, if you wanted to, you know, uh, work on an anime sequence, you just have no idea. Now all that information is out there, and so companies can can do it or take advantage of that. And take advantage of You know what? The thought just occurred to me. Um, when we were at OnCon, and mm -hmm. the question came up of who's going to be the next Miyazaki? Right. What if the dude's in North Korea? Wow. Right? What if the next Miyazaki yeah. is actually North Korean? What if like somebody's you know using the services and then you know that they don't know, yeah. and the artwork is coming back and the quality is just like outstanding, <laughs> right? Like everyone's just like agog, right? Their jaws are hitting the floor. Mm -hmm. Like, who is this guy? And they go to the subcontractor and go, who we want to bring him over here. <laughs> About that, um, crap. Uh, I'm glad I'm wearing dark pants. Uh. Because how are you going to explain that? My yeah. name's North Korean, you know? And mm -hmm. But that could be plausible. You know, you could have that one guy that's in, mm -hmm. in there just, like, probably has no idea. Like, he's, like, everyone just loves his work, and he's just punching it out. Yep. So what do you do, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is the promise of a lot of the studios, where you can – the ideal of having all these studios everywhere is that, you know, the next great animator could be in Singapore or could be in – you know any right. number of other countries where once they you, you know if you if they can work at that company they can rise through the ranks and we now have right. a handful of animators that have risen up from all these different studios it's like wow you're really good come on work on our our project so there's you know there are there are possibilities there um, yeah but yeah if it's if it's over there like that specific <laughs> spot that, that's a problem <laughs> it's a problem i mean is that when you go to? Is that when the the, the, the country roll goes to to the Americans and goes? <laughs> Can you send SEAL Team Six in to get this guy out of North Korea? Why does he have state secrets? Yeah, sure. <laughs> he knows a lot of things about the industry he's working at. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 The thing is, all the shots you've seen of Anya, done. <laughs> right. Right. Like, if, if it's, you know, um, this person did Anya, anyone in the U.S. is going to be like, okay, yep. Yep, yep. Extraction imminent. <laughs> Extraction you know? <laughs> happening. <laughs> Who knows?